Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula! Whoa! <laughs> Where are you going? What are you doing? Here comes Brittany McSpears! Whoa! I know they're gonna jump right into this hole. Yep, and Hila's like, time to dig a hole! If you guys aren't familiar with what a Siberian Husky likes to do, they love to dig themselves a hole right down to the center of the planet. Like, unless you're Britney Spears, he just likes to chase all of the, the dirt that flies out from behind his sister's behind. Welcome to the number one place on the internet where you can learn everything you ever wanted to know about Siberian Huskies. If you ever want to live with one, own one, or train one, this is the place to learn all the information that you're looking for. It's also a good place to see some huskies be extremely weird and strange, which is the very best part about this dog breed. They have incredibly insane personalities, so uh, if you're wanting to get one of these pepperonis, well, you're going to have to deal with junk like this. Now, it's a good thing that Gila got all dirty today because today we're going to be talking about the best way to clean your Siberian Husky. Now, Siberian Huskies have a mind of their own, which means most of the time they like to do their own jam. And getting them to take a bath or a shower can be a huge, complex process. Now, sometimes people just like to take them outside, get a hose, and just hose them down outside. But that can be really hard and kind of stressful, especially if your Husky's on a leash. What do you, what do you see, missus? Is there something you're looking for? You see like a grasshopper or something? And if you're thinking about taking your Siberian Husky indoors to get cleaned, like you want to do it at the shower or the bathtub, well, I got news for you. You're going to create an entire humongous mess the size of a mass flood. So I suggest you don't do that unless you know the secret that I know, the secret to bathing and cleaning a Siberian Husky. So watch this video, watch the whole thing. And in just a couple minutes, you're going to learn how you can bathe your Siberian Husky without causing a mess or stressing them or yourself out. So so let's get into the video now. Now, like I said, Siberian Huskies love to get dirty, so every once in a while, you're gonna have to wash them. Now, they're pretty hygienic, which means that they're, for the most part, gonna stay clean without you doing tons of maintenance. But every once in a while, when you're outside and you're hanging out, Siberian Huskies like to get dirty. You're never gonna go an entire Husko life without your Husky rolling in mud or getting really dirty or digging a hole or something. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the best ways that you can make sure that your Husky stays clean when they get super, super dirty. Whoa! Now, like I said, a lot of people like to come outside and just bring their Husky right over to a hose and just wash them down. Now, there's two problems with this. One, when you turn on the hose, if your Husky isn't on a leash, they're gonna run away. And if they are on a leash, they're gonna be super stressed because like a, a, a gun of water is being shot at them. Here, I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Turn it on the water. Ooh, what's that? Turn it on. Hey. What? What's all that? Come here. Where are you going? Come take a bath. Come take a bath. She's like, uh, excuse me, no sir, I'm not doing that. Now the same thing is going to apply if you do this indoors. If you're gonna try and wash your Husky inside and you say, come on, chances are they're gonna be like, uh, as soon as they see that water turn on in the bathtub, it's lights out. Come on, let's go. March, hup, to hup to cinnamon buns coming through. But I am gonna break the ice and I am gonna let you guys know that the best way to bathe your Siberian Husky is in fact indoors. Before I show you the trick, before I show you exactly how to break the lock on making bath time stress-free, I wanna show you guys something really cool that we just got. Are you, are you ready, are you excited? Come on. Come on, I'll show you what it is. Yeah, let's go. For today's episode, our sponsor is West and Willow. West and Willow makes all sorts of awesome customizable gifts that include your furry best friends. West and Willow uses a simple and easy process where all you gotta do is just upload a photo of your pet, choose your frame and color, and then check out. It is awesome quality stuff. The artwork is professionally printed on museum quality paper, so you know you're getting the real deal here. In addition, they always offer amazing bundles so that you can get like 50% off of your mugs whenever you get a portrait. In addition, West and Willow uses real artist designs, so they're hand illustrated. They aren't just rendered and created by an AI or some application. These are real people hand drawing your best friends. Not to mention, they have over 20,000 five-star reviews from customers that are lifetime fans of the products that Weston Willow has provided for them. Let's be honest, your dog 
or your cat at home is part of the family. I know there's tons of photos of me and my loved ones on the wall, so I like to make sure that my best friends are up there too. The artwork is just so well done and looks magnificent. Every time I look at it, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's Britney Spears right there. That looks exactly like him. Another great part about Weston Willow is that you can choose the type of frame that you want for your photos to match all the things around in your home. They also sell blankets and pillow covers and a whole bunch of other things. You should make your way over to Weston Willow. We'll have the link down in the description so that you can check out their awesome products and put your floofy best friend on a frame or a coffee cup or anything you want today. We want to thank Weston Willow for sending out these awesome coffee cups and these amazing portraits that we keep on our wall so that every single day I'm reminded that my best friends are a huge part of my life. All right, you ready to share the secret? Are you ready to share the secret? I know you don't want to tell it, but, but we should, because it's good to give people advice. All right, you ready? Let's go. Okay, so here's the bathroom. Now I know what you're thinking, first thing off the bat. Yes, I still have some Halloween decorations up in here. I, I need to remove them. You're like 60, yo, get on the ball, dude. It's almost Christmas time. Yes, I know, I know. Okay, so here we go. Here's the bathroom. The very place where you're gonna be bathing your husky. So the first thing you want to do, just naturally, is you want to go, hey, come on, let's go. Get in there, go ahead, go ahead, come on. Get in the tub. Go ahead, good boy. Good boy. There you go. <laughs> Look at Hilo, she's like, C can I get in too? So the first thing you're gonna do is turn the water on and exactly as I thought, Britney Spears is gonna wanna jump out. He's like, dude, no way I'm getting in that tub of when it's running, brother. And Hila especially because she don't fly with none of that, do ya? Hila, get on. Good, good, good girl. So let's see how she reacts. Let's get her a little wet. You wanna take a bath, mama? You wanna take a bath, mama? Let's take a bath. <laughs> yep. So here's the deal. This is what you're gonna be dealing with. You're gonna be dealing with a Huscaroni pizza that's gonna be trying to jump out of the bathtub every two seconds, which if you're trying to give anyone a bath, that's absolutely insane because you're gonna get wet, your dog's gonna make the bathroom completely filthy, you're gonna be stressed, and your Huscaroni pizza is gonna be stressed. So let's fix all that right now. Go into your kitchen, come on. Just go into your kitchen real quick, just believe me. Open up this thing right here, okay? Inside, don't pay attention to any of the other crap. Don't pay attention to any of this. Go right in here and grab, that's human peanut butter. This is the dog peanut butter. There's a difference. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a huge glob of that peanut butter, bring the peanut butter to the bathroom, and now your huskies are all of a sudden very, very interested to know what you're doing. Make sure you have tile. Oh, okay. okay, come on in and have a seat, why don't you? Make sure you have tile or make sure that you have ceramic or uh, fiberglass, anything. Don't, I don't know what kind of walls people have in their bathroom. You could have like a carpet wall. I have no idea. This doesn't work on carpet walls, okay? Understand that. So take the peanut butter. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, is this man about to straight up put some peanut butter on his bathroom wall? Yes, the, the answer is yes. So just follow what I'm gonna do. So take the peanut butter, spread it right there. There you go. Ooh, look at that. You can even get artistic with it and put like a, like a little hairdo right there. Yeah, that's some hair. And give it like a little eyeballs and a smile. Look at that. It's Wilson. Yeah. Check it out. We're gonna run the water. And now Britney Spears, Go ahead. He can enjoy the peanut butter while we wash him. Good boy. Good boy. Now what's awesome about this is that Siberian Huskies, when they're like focused in on food, they're not really paying attention to what's going on elsewhere. So you can actually have a much more calm, stress-free bath experience when they're focused on the peanut butter. And what's good about peanut butter, the reason we use peanut butter is because after a few licks, they're going to stop and then they're going to try and get that peanut butter off of their tongue. So it's not going to disappear in just a few seconds. Get to scrub a dub dubbing. Very good. Thank you, sir. Being a good boy. And now because this is a stress-free experience, this is becoming 
something that's calming and soothing for them. So they're actually learning to enjoy the bath time now instead of becoming afraid of it. So for future baths, your Siberian Husky is gonna be much more willing to come and get inside rather than run away. Now I'm not gonna give my Siberian Huskies a full bath in this video because they're actually pretty clean, but I wanna let you guys know that putting peanut butter on the wall is the best way to wash your Siberian Husky because they get super focused in on the peanut butter. They don't pay attention to the water and the scrubbing and the bath time. And then when you're done, you're able to easily put a towel on them just like, boop, go ahead. <laughs> and of course, after a bath, your Siberian Husky is gonna roll around and be absolutely crazy, but that's just part of being in a bath, bro. If you haven't tried this trick, try it out at home. We guarantee you that giving your Siberian Husky or any dog a bath for that matter is gonna become far easier when you use peanut butter. We wanna thank you guys for hanging out with us today, for watching the episode, and learning all about the cool secrets that'll help you and your Siberian Husky have a more stress-free bath time experience. We also wanna thank Weston Willow for sending us the portraits and the coffee mugs, and we wanna remind you guys to check out Weston Willow down in the description below. Click the link and get your mugs, your portraits, all your customized pet products today. No one does it like Weston Willow. So until next time, we'll see you with another episode filled with Siberian Husky tricks and tips. If you liked today's episode, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe to become part of the Husky community. And we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yup, whatever we make, dude. Peace! Scooby-dee-bop-bop-bop-bop-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba